in the past I figured out how to get Emacs to use the Cisco Jabber client and to construct emails from work mode contacts. One limitation of that is everything that I have in my contacts and sometimes I want to call somebody in the university and I'm not interested in looking up their, their uh, email or their phone number uh, in Google and then trying to construct it. It turns out we have a, a lightweight directory access protocol, LDAP, that we can use to query and find information. So the, there's a command line utility, LDAP search, and it works kind of uh, like this. Uh, we pass dash x for the most basic, uh, simple authentication or, or lack of it. Dash LLL is an option that uh, controls the output. Here's the host, ldap.andrew.cmu.edu. This is a base uh, string that is used in the query. And here I'm going to query the field CN equals John Kitchen. If I run this, uh, it will give me back some text information here. So this is all the information that is known about uh, my LDAP entry. Some of it's private up here. But you can see here the information about me, including my uh, email address and down here my phone number. So this is a, a way that Emacs can get information from a command line uh, program. And what I would like to do is, is parse this into some data structure that I can then use to forward to email or to uh, Cisco Jabber. So this data is just uh, simple line-based uh, data. Sometimes uh, there are more than one entry. So the first thing I'm going to do here is create a function that can uh, get that, that data and parse it into something useful for me. So I, I have the uh, function here, I put in an interactive query, and we get the output by splitting this, this string on carriage returns and then throwing away the last entry here, which is just an empty line. Okay. And then what I need to do is go through these lines and turn them into information that I can use. So I do this in two loops. First, I uh, have to clean up trailing lines and ignoring a couple of lines and, and particularly running uh, joining lines that run over. And once I do that, uh, this is just looping for each line and collecting the result in lines uh, here. That collection is happening here. Now I'll go through those lines. Every line should be uh, a key colon value. And so we know we start on a, an entry when we see a dn colon, and that makes uh, me add a new entry to the, to the results which is just the line. Then uh, I find if the string matches uh, a colon, if there's a colon in it, in other words, we split it by the colon and we have the property as the, uh, the end of it and the value is, the, um, is this part of the line. And then I set the car of results to be the results of that line. Right? In other words, I'm storing a P list and each uh, key is going to be colon key and then it'll be the value right and then uh, I filter out anything that is uh, ends up being nil so it's kind of a confusing uh, code to, to look at but let me show you how it how it actually works so here if I do this uh, I get uh, a result that is a P list with the individual keys that were in here and we can now have this as a Lisp data structure that we can use so it's a list of entries. This one has one entry and it corresponding to the one result. There would be more than one entry if, if I got multiple uh, matches. So now what I want to do is, is provide myself a Helm function because I like the way Helm lets me select from, from many things and I can give me different actions. So action I might want on here is to send an email to, to this person or to make a phone call to this person. Uh, but maybe there are some other uh, things I might like to copy their email to the clipboard so I can use it or insert it wherever I am. And Helm lets me have a menu that makes all of those things possible. So here's how we do uh, the Helm uh, function. So here we take a query string as well. So I'm going to, when I run this, it'll query me for something uh, that I want to search for. And then I create a Helm command. Here I'll create the Helm source in line, and it'll have a name of Helm LDAP. The candidates are going to, uh, let's look down here at where candidates come from. 
So we're going to map this function over all of the elements of our um, query, LDAP query. So here I check if the query string has an equal in it, that means you're doing something specific like CN equals John Kitchen. Uh, if it doesn't, then we assume you're doing a generic search on CN. And so if there's no equal sign in it, we put an equal sign in it and put asterisks on each side for wildcards. That gives me a list of, of entries. And then for each entry, we're going to construct a string that looks like the person's title, their name, their email address, their display address, and their telephone number. And that's gonna be a, a list of con cells that are the string and the actual uh, entry. All right, so when you select one, what you're seeing is the string, what you select is the X, and the X is gonna get passed down to these action functions. So the action functions I have here are to email the person. So we take X, open a compose mail, go to the to field, insert their mail address, and then go to the subject so we can continue. If we select call, it will open my Cisco call function, or here we can copy the name and email address, or here we can look at an information about the, that person. Okay, so let's execute that and let me show you how, how it looks. So we run our Helm LDAP function, query on my own name. This is going to come up and show me there are two people with the name Kitchen. I can press tab on here and if I select email, then it opens up an email with, with that information in it. Let's try it again. If I select call, then it inserts my name, and it calls me, no problem. And one last. And here is all the information about me as, uh, as this person. So that's, uh, that's sort of it. Here is uh, just something convenient to do, and you can see all the information more conveniently than, than the code form, and we press Q to quit, and we're back. And the only other thing we can do is press F3, and then I can paste my name and email address. That's it. I think this will be pretty handy for searching for people within the university where I work, and you might find it interesting to think about how you can take output from commands and use something like Helm for selecting uh, candidates and, and actions. That's it for this one.